work let's work now on a more complicated exponential equation using logarithms again um, the equation now it has the format of any linear equation except of the fact that I have a power right here meaning I have constants I have sides uh, from both sides of the equation I have more than one term so the, the equation can become quite confusing and quite uh, quite complicated like for example you may have something like this uh, to um, e to the 2x minus 1 equals to 20 and you may have right here plus 15. It doesn't matter what you have. You may have something like this and this may look confusing. You have two variable terms, you have two constants, you still know how to solve it. This is not going to be an issue for you. Just follow the steps that I have right here. So I'm going to erase this confusing equation for the moment uh, so we can focus on something simpler uh, but the steps that you follow are going to be the same the first thing that you need to do is isolate the power that's your goal so what is the power right here the power that you have is e to the 1 minus 4x that's your power this is what you want to isolate on the one side of the equation so you want to leave it alone okay and how do you do that in order to do that you have to move all the constants on the other side so e to the 1 minus 4x equals to 20 minus 8 so that's your first step you leave this alone now you can simplify that so let's simplify it so you have the most simplified version of this equation and this is going to be equal to 12. okay what the second step says divide both sides with the coefficient of the power well as you can see right here the power doesn't have any coefficient it is multiplied by one so you can skip the step two in this case you you don't have any coefficient so you go to the next step Simplify the right side. Well, the right side is already simplified, it's 12, so we're we are good. The next step is take the logs from both sides with base, the base of the power. So you need to know what is the base of your power, and it is E. So you want to take the ln from both sides here. So you take ln of E to the 1 minus 4x, equals to ln of 12 okay why because if e to the 1 minus 4x is equal to 12 then the logarithm of e to the 1 minus 4x will be equal to the logarithm of 12 okay good and why did we do that well we did that because we have the magic of the power rule and we can apply the power rule in order to simplify the left side of the equation and get rid of this exponent. How? Well, I can remind you that the power rule says that if you have this exponent up here, then this is equal to the same as if you multiply the exponent by the logarithm. So 1 minus 4x, now remember, how many terms do you have here? Two, put it in parentheses, in order to avoid confusion. ln of e is equal to ln of 12. Now, I want to remind you that the reason that we selected right here the logarithm base to be the base of the power is in order to create this beautiful logarithm that is equal to 1. Why? I want to remind you that the rule says log of a of a is equal to 1. That's always true. So now I get rid of my logarithm, I brought the exponent down, so it's easier to solve is equal to ln of 12 is there any way to simplify the ln of 12 no ln of 12 is ln of 12 is a number this is going to be a number uh, ln of uh, um, around 9 is going to be uh, 2 so ln of 12 will be 2.4 around you can approximate it, but it's a number, you know that. 
as a number, it's a constant. So the next step that you need to, to do here is to understand that you have a linear equation. That's a number, that's another number. So both of them are constants. You leave on the left side alone the variable term. You pass on the right side all the constants, minus one. Now, <clears throat> if this confuse you, I would say put it in parentheses, put the 12 in parentheses so you remember that only the 12 is the argument of your logarithm. The negative 1, minus 1, it's just a number that you subtract from the ln 12. ln 12 is around 3. 3 minus 1 is going to be around 2. Okay, <clears throat> now that we are at this point, we have to get rid of the negative 4. How? By dividing both sides of the equation by negative 4. Simplify this here. And the result will be x equals to ln of 12 minus 1 divided by negative 4. And that's the final answer.